False doors are undoubtedly one of the most perplexing mysteries of the ancient world. Found all over the globe, legends regarding these enigmatic doorways, seemingly leading nowhere, actually once having been active portals of unknown origins, have permeated the many native cultures still found at many of these ancient anomalies. The toppled obelisk of Axum, for example, is not only one of the largest megaliths found on Earth, weighing many thousands of tons, once cut, transported, and subsequently erected within an obelisk field in Ethiopia, is drenched in false doorways. Found in peculiar locations within Peru's mountain ranges, one in particular found within a unique location within a rock face containing a rare element now used to increase radio frequencies. Yet the most intriguing and well-known of these doorways is the Gateway to the Gods, also known as the Midas Monument. Once perfectly carved into one face of a slim outcrop within this ancient site, literally translated as inscribed rock within the Eskashahir province in Turkey. Predictably, any circumstantial evidence that would suggest a date of creation within new or known world history have taken place by the academics tasked with dating the monument and the surrounding relics. The crude inscriptions, which we feel, due to the difference in quality and ability of their creators, we believe dated at a more primitive time, have been used to age the monument to no earlier than the 6th century BC. This inscription, translated as, Attis has dedicated this monument to Midas, Levactus, and Vanex, being used to date the entire site. Quote, the name Attis, a variant of Attis, is a prominent name in Phrygia associated with royalty. The fact that the dedication is made to Midas may indicate that he had received posthumous ruler cult. Various indications place the date of the monument's construction in the early to mid-7th century BC. The inscription probably indicates that the monument was erected after the death of Midas in the early 7th century BC. Another inscription on the right side of the monument includes the letter Yod, which was added to the Phrygian alphabet in the mid-6th century BC. End quote. No consideration has apparently been given to the possibility that, like many other as yet unexplained ruins we have shared, may have simply been re-inhabited and subsequently claimed as this people's work, giving a false perception of abilities and power. We find this curious. Who built the Midas monument? Could these false doors have actually once been portals to another place? We find such hypothesis, and indeed the monument itself, highly compelling.